Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. <laughs> I was showing you guys Boston because Savannah is in the shower and he's roaming around aimlessly like a little lost puppy or then he'll sit or stand in front of the shower door. He is so like obsessed with her. It's kind of sad. Do you guys know of or have you guys heard of dogs that are so attached to people that they do this? I mean, she can go in the bathroom and he'll get up and he'll just sit outside her door. I mean, he follows her everywhere, you guys. She will be sitting in the living room and he has to be like right by her. Sometimes he'll come lay on the opposite side or whatever, but he'll lay right by her and she'll get up just to go in her room to get something or go in the kitchen and he's like, where are we going? Thursday, did I say? Today was Thursday. I am working, I'm on my first break. So just about to get up and grab something to drink. Um, but I pulled the camera out, not only to show you Boston, but I was gonna tell you guys. I have my front door open, and it was funny because Boston is the nosiest dog ever, which is okay, whatever, that's just him, and we're used to it. If we put a bag down, grocery bags, shopping bags, he goes sniffing in it, like, what's going on? What's in here for me? What can I have? You know, that's just a dog, so no big deal, we're used to it, and if something new is here, or just a different smell, you know, he'll sniff at it. So he's very nosy like that and any noises that he hears like when the door is open he'll go to it and look which is normal also right. So today is garbage day and he heard like the trucks so <laughs> being who he is he goes to the door to look and for some reason the garbage truck made a weird noise it was like so loud and even startled me so he was standing by the door jump he was like Arr! you know <laughs> and took off running so whatever um the noise was it like really scared him but i just thought it was the funniest thing not only is he nosy he is very like chicken and he's scared of stuff and i don't know why he has always been that way even when we first got him so that's just his personality as well but now, once again, he's standing around the door waiting on Savannah. Boston, she's gonna come out. He's like, I don't care, I'm gonna sit here and wait. Anyway, let me go get some more coffee and enjoy the rest of my break. I have like seven minutes left. Oh, now he's getting inside his crate. It's weird, he'll go inside the crate when it's open and he'll sit there. As long as the door is open, he's fine. I guess because he can control whether he comes out or not. But when, now he walked out. But when the crate is closed, he whines and whines and he is crate trained. I've talked about this before. I know a lot of people don't like crating their dogs or whatever, but you know, we're not abusing him. Hey, he's sitting down. I decided to give him a cookie because he's being so good right now, but I don't let him get it from my hand because he takes it very aggressively so I always throw it down Savannah feeds him like this and he's probably like lady give me the stinking cookie okay let's do it over here on the floor because it crumbles there you go there you go oh you're just gonna take it whole I see yeah see how he just puts it all over the place and I'll sweep up the crumbs later anyway so you guys on Sunday when we took him to the groomers they actually forgot to trim his nails and we are going back today to take him to get his nails trimmed see he's in his crate the door is open but he's in his crate y'all hear his nails yeah, when it's cut, it's usually not that noticeable. You gotta just look at me. How long are you gonna stay there? Just sit down. She'll be out soon. Y'all hear that? Yeah. They forgot to trim him. He finally sat down. He'll probably get up soon. So I'm about to place an order through DoorDash from JJ's Fish and Chicken, and it's kind of far away. So number one, I'll make sure I give them a uh, tip because I know it's gonna be a far distance. But um, I've ordered from them before, and it's supposed to be like this Southern place that has, you know, 
gumbo and jambalaya and you know fried catfish and stuff like that so i seen that i'm like okay great wonderful right no i mean coming from yes i've only lived in the south till i was five and the family moved to california but aunts and uncles and my mom grandmother you know whatever who are southern cookers and i know what southern food truly is so i did some, try their seafood gumbo I tried their jambalaya. I even tried like their hot wings and whatever. And I don't, it, the catfish and stuff like that, it's okay, but it's really greasy. And I guess I do know Southern food is not the healthiest or whatever, but I don't know. It's just not all that great. They have wonderful banana pudding, <laughs> but they also have. I'm still ordering from them, but I'm ordering okra, fried okra, and I'm ordering jalapenos with cheese on the inside. Now, those are good. The way they batter it and season it, it's so good. So that and the banana pudding, but I'm not ordering the banana pudding today. Those are the only things that I get from them now because I'm scared to try other stuff because I feel like I wasted my money on the gumbo. Cheyenne ate it. She said it was okay. But I was like, mm, couldn't touch my gumbo, can't touch my mom's or my aunt's or anything like that. So, yeah, um, I don't think I will try anything else from this place because mostly everything has disappointed me. Okay. So, I'm still on break, but I'm just trying to vlog more, you guys, because I know, I know, y'all know me. Anyway, let me get this order ready. That way it can be here when I go on my lunch, which is going to be in 45 minutes. They have crab cakes and calamari there also. Maybe I'll try that later. Not right now. I don't know. I don't feel like venturing out. Let me stick with what I know. Okay. Order is placed. Really, he stops. <laughs> Look how he's shaking. Well, hello. Turn this down so I won't get copyright. Anyway, we are at PetSmart and we just brought Boston into, are you guys seen to? get his nails clipped, shaven, whatever they do. And then we walked over to Sprouts, picked up a few things. So I have a question. Do y'all drink kombucha? Kombucha? How do you say it? Because you know I'm saying it wrong. Mm -hmm. Let me look at the thing. I'm probably it's still going to turn it wrong. Kombucha. I don't know. Anyway, she loves it. And yes, she's driving again. She loves it. I can't even get past the smell of it it's disgusting everyone to me everyone that she tries she's like mm, try this why do i continue to keep trying and it's disgusting to me i don't like drinking that but her taste buds she loves it you have to get used to it because i didn't like it at first either yeah i can't i won't i'm sorry hey boston he looks so cute making deliveries for DoorDash and Savannah's it went away Savannah is taking a picture we seen a peacock just running around I think she scared it away there it is Wait, I see it it's, it's coming back okay I don't know if you guys can see it but just trust me there's a peacock over there good morning everyone it is Saturday and I'm up and I'm dressed I didn't just get up but let me open my front door, hold on. It's pretty windy out there. Why can't I unlock my door? There we go. It is so windy out. I don't know where this wind came from. Ugh, the breeze is so nice out here. You know what, getting this screen door is the best thing I have done. I, it's amazing. Look at my rug. It's so windy that the wind keeps blowing the rug 
up and whatever. I'm not even going to try to fix it because I'm just not. No plans for today. Um, Savannah and I, we door dashed a little bit yesterday after I got off work and um, to like about 8, 830. And then I came home and I was tired because I'd been working all day and then out, you know, driving around in my car. So um, we did that and um, I talked to my mom and actually they were going to go to <clears throat> Texas at the end of this month. Boston's looking. He wants to come in. We just put him out. Got to give him a little while longer. We we're going to go to Texas at the end of this month. Had a change of plans. They're not going now. So Savannah and I are going to go there that weekend and see my mom and aunt and they're fully vaccinated and we will be at that time as well so yeah we're gonna go out there and visit and see what we can get into i pretty much know what we're gonna do but you know i'll just wait and show y'all later it's not that it's not a big secret but i don't know y'all know me it's like, like the reveal no it's not disneyland but gonna do that so when i came home i actually talked to my mom for a while and my aunt and made a few plans so that's all i did last night and i got a good night's sleep and once again i was going to do overtime today and i woke up and i didn't even set my clock but i woke up maybe around four and with overtime we could start anytime we want whatever but i was like mm, no i want to sleep in i want to sleep in it's almost 10 o'clock now i have been up an hour, about an hour, but laying in my bed and scrolling through social media, playing words with friends, and I just started playing again. You guys have words with friends. You can find me on there, The Shell Bell Life. My picture is of a sunflower and it says, be happy. So if you guys are on there and you wanna play with me, um, find me. I message people on there, oh my God. Okay, so when I play ladies, females, we play and we play the game and that's it. Tell me why there's been so many guys, and I don't even have my picture on there. There have been so many guys that I have played that they'll send me a message. Hey, beautiful. Really? You think I'm going to fall for that? I don't even have a picture of me on the profile. Really? So I'm like, I just want to play the game. So I don't even message him. There's been two instances where I didn't message the person back. I'm just playing the game and they resigned from the game because I guess they were there to talk and not to play the game. Why be there? I mean, so anyway, if you are on Words With Friends and if you play with me and if you message me, just let me know that you're from YouTube and whatever and I will message you back then, you know, but yeah, it's just the weirdest thing. So I was playing Words With Friends and scrolling through social media before I actually finally, like, let me get up. So I got up, ordered some food through DoorDash, and it's, this place is called Bacon and Butter. I know it just sounds fattening, but I got low carb options. So did that, and that should be on the way. And it's a little bit further, and with DoorDash, and I always give a tip, but when it's further, I give a bigger tip because I know how I am. See, I don't even, drive outside my delivery area if I pick an area that's the only area I'm staying in don't ask me to go 10 miles this way 12 miles that way because I ain't doing it because so you can ch choose to accept it or not and for everyone that is not accepted someone will accept it so you know someone will take my or order even though it's further it's like almost downtown yeah but I, I made sure I left them a good tip so Somebody will take it. So waiting for that to get here and then we may actually go out and door dash a little bit today. I don't know, we'll see. Um, if not, then I'm not gonna do anything today. I'm tired and you know, I can just rest and you know, even if I did door dash, I, you know, we'll only probably do it a couple hours or something like that. But yeah, that's it y'all, nothing much is happening right now i'm excited because well the weekend of memorial day weekend i always want to say labor day but labor day is my around my birthday so i don't know why i was going to say that anyway i'm just rambling but i'm excited because it's a three-day weekend but i took that friday off i'm using a uh, pto hours and i'm gonna have a four-day weekend and we're going to leave early on friday morning and head out and get to my mom's house and see what we can do and then 
Saturday we have plans. I'm so excited about that. And we have plans on Sunday as well, Savannah and I. I don't know if my mom is going to go. Probably not because she's going to be attending her Zoom church online. And I know I can attend my Zoom church online, but I'm going to let them know I'm going to be out of town because that day we planned on actually going somewhere and doing something. So I can't have the... I, I, I can be on Zoom, but, you know, when it's time for me to do my little greeting, I'm looking because the... I don't know you guys can't see. The carpet just flew up. But see, my grass is getting tall again. Yeah, I never show you guys. I'm going to call this week to have them come cut it. Anyway, what was I saying? So we just have plans. I know I'm just rambling, but... Yeah, just letting you guys know what's going on and what's up with us for today and whatever. And I've been thinking, you guys, so you know how I got a new camera and I'm absolutely loving it. To me, the lighting in dark areas has been better and just the quality, I just like it. I've been thinking um, if I should sell my other camera on Macari or Depop or something like that. I mean... I doubt I'm going to use it, so why not get some money for it? I mean, I won't get what I paid for it, of course, and it's an older version of the camera, like the first generation, if that's what you want to call it, but I don't know. It's like, I don't want to sell it, but I want to sell it, but I don't want to sell it, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, we did something, as you can see from the clip before. So, yeah, I'll show you guys them when we get home. But you guys hear them, like, making noises? I don't want to shake the box, but, yeah, we got some birds. So, we are at Loving Hut. It's a vegan place that we found that Savannah loves. And I decided to stay in the car with the birdies because even though it's not that hot, I still don't want to leave them inside an enclosed car, so don't want to suffocate them, whatever. But they are so cute. I know you guys seen them trying to catch them in the beginning, and I wish I would have pulled the camera out in the beginning. It took forever for them to get these two birds. So I will tell you more about them later. Okay, guys, so here are the birds, and they were a bonded pair. We have to buy them together, and the green one name is Willow. The blue, name, the blue one's name is Birch. And I guess they bear, they are very protected over each other. So that's why we have to buy them together. And yeah, I like the name Willow, but I think I'm going to change the blue one's name. Because, I mean, Birch is cool, but yeah. And you guys, they were an owner surrender. And they've only been in PetSmart maybe two days, I think she said. Um, the husband lost a job and they weren't able to care for them anymore. So they had to return them, which is sad, but... Good for us. So yeah, you guys, we got little birdies. And Boston is probably like, what's going on? He does not care, he just wants to eat. So yeah, you guys, that's the new additions. He is so intrigued by these birds. He's been staring at them for so long and he'll go around to the other side and he'll look at it. He'll sniff the bags. I wonder what is he thinking? So we're playing a video and then every time the birds hear it, you hear that? He's copying the noise. He is copying the noise. That little kiss is making noise, he was like, you heard that? Yes. See?
So good morning everyone. Today is Sunday and you already seen the birds are awake and active. So there is just too much going on right here. So I'm going to rearrange some things so I can push their cage all the way back. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so they are in their own little corner. The stand that was over there, I moved it on the other side and I still have to straighten all this out and dust and I'll do that a little bit later. But yeah, here are the birds in their cage. And I don't know if I told you guys this, but I know I told you guys it was an owner surrender, but they gave the cage as well. So we did not have to pay any extra money for the cage. This just came with it because that's what the birds were used to and had. And I actually think that they are more at home. I'm sure it's a little bit more stressful because they got moved from their home and now, you know, they're here. But at least they have their cage that they were used to. And this is just a blanket we covered them up with last night. Things. Okay, so the funny thing is, they gave us this water. I guess when the owner surrendered them, they said that these birds would only drink bottled water. And I'm like, bougie birds, they definitely belong in this family because y'all know how I do. I do not drink tap water. But I also looked at some videos last night and they said that tap water is not good for parakeets. So I don't know. I'll just continue letting them have the kind of water that they are used to. And if you notice, they move further back. So either they are not used to being touched and picked up or they are still getting used to us because when we are not around the cage they're all over and then you come closer and they move away and what else let's see oh the owners gave some food so this is what we fed them last night and they actually been eating pretty good um, I just wanted to start them out with something that they were absolutely used to and then this right here is what I got yesterday for them. And then, so this right here is, you know how dogs have treats? But this is a bird treat, so I have that right there. And I just did it with a little um, zip tie, um, twist tie type of thing because I did not get something to hang it from, so I'll do that today. And then, I guess they need this cuddle bone. So I bought this as well. And so this has some certain kind of minerals in it and it also uh, keeps their beak sharp. So I got that and I have it just up there where they can reach it anytime they want. And this stuff right here, this was actually, this actually came with the crate. I guess the owners had this for them as well. And that right there is their bird bath. So I will attach that a little bit later. So today at the bird shop in Roseville, they are going to get their flight feathers cut. I did look at videos last night. I can technically do it, but because I'm sure they are pretty stressed. And as you can see, they're still up against the back wall of the cage. I'm sure they're still pretty stressed, so well, I guess there's no difference in me trying to cut it and the shop trying to cut it because they don't know the shop people either. Anyway, we're going to have professionals do it and then maybe next time when they're used to us, I will do it because it looks pretty simple. And then we're also going to get their claws, the nails, the claws, the nails trimmed. Yeah, you guys, that is our little birdies and I guess... Like I said, later on, they will be going to get their wings clipped. And if I am able to vlog that, I will. So, yeah, I want to get like a bin like here to keep that under there. That way it can look a whole lot better and not just like a bunch of stuff there. So, yeah, you guys, they are very vocal. Oh, so remember how I told you guys last night that their names are Willow? It's the green one and the blue one is birch well we changed the blue one's name to blue just because rio and blue it just seemed fitting i didn't really like the name birch i love the name willow so i'm gonna keep that and plus i don't know if they know their names anyway it's not like when you adopt a dog that already has a name and you you know have to try to train them for a new name or got to keep the name that they already have so yeah so meet willow and blue are you guys gonna talk 
You guys are going to stay right there because I'm here, huh? Hey, guys. Oh, and I don't know if there's a guy and a girl, two guys, two girls. I don't know, but we will find out later on today. Huh? Hey, you guys are so pretty. Hello. It's actually like two days later. Today is, is it Wednesday? It's Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. Yes, today's Tuesday. And I couldn't show you guys them getting their feathers clipped because they took them into like the back room because the birds were really stressed, they could tell. And plus there were other birds in the shop and you know, the people and the noise. So they took them to the back and they did it there. So I wasn't able to vlog it, maybe next time. Um, but I understand they wanted to like a quiet area. And they said even they had kind of like trouble because they were squirming and everything. So yeah, it's understandable, but they did get there feathers their flight feathers clipped so yeah if any of you had birds before you know they clip their flight feathers so they can't fly that um if they do fly then we'll able we'll be able to catch them so um they can hover but they just won't be able to take flight so that's the reason for that and I haven't been doing a whole lot that's the reason why i really haven't brought out the camera for anything. Um, I am taking a break from work. I had been thinking about, cause we are still getting another dog. I know I haven't said anything about another dog lately or whatever, and I did stop looking for a while because it's kind of hard right now because of COVID and you can't just go to places anymore and just look and be like, okay, I want this one. And the way we are, because you know, an animal is a lifelong commitment. We don't want to just keep picking dogs. Austin was the right one for us. I think we jumped the gun when we got Cody. Okay, I know no one in Russia. My phone's ringing, it said Russia. Anyway, um, we jumped the gun when we got Cody. So I'm just kind of like taking my time and I'm really going to, you know, take my time and figure out what dog is going to work for us and be a good fit for our family so that's what we're doing um, we did see a few but I don't know none of them really stood out and some of them were so cute and whatever but they weren't house trained because I think I explained to you guys before the way our family is we don't need puppies we need an older dog that someone has already put in the work because we don't know how to do it so yeah we're still going to get another dog it's just we're taking our time on that but with the birds i kind of knew i wanted something okay I'm not gonna answer and then they don't leave a message so you know it's probably a scam or something like that anyway so the reason why i got the birds is because savannah wanted a chinchilla yeah, she wanted a rodent and she had been wanting one for years. We didn't get one, but she had been wanting one for years. And she's like, mom, I'm older and it can stay in my room and blah, 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 whatever. And I'm like, no, because you're going to pick it up and drop it. And I don't know, I'm just the mother reasons why, you know, you can't get a rodent in your house. So we went there looking for them. And, you know, those things are $150 and up a chinchilla. Yeah. Look up what a chinchilla is. They're kind of creep me out because they look like a rat, but then a bunny, but then, I don't know, they're just weird looking to me. And they got these big, huge ears and a tail. I don't know, they just look weird. So went there, not looking to get one, but just because I never paid attention to them before. And so then I seen the birds, I'm like, you know what? I kind of want birds again. And so it, that was kind of spur of the moment. So found two birds that I like and I'm like we need everything we have no home for them we have no food so everything right so got to the register and when it was time to pay Savannah pulled out a card and said happy Mother's Day so yeah she bought me birds for Mother's Day other stuff also as well but yeah you guys that's how the birds came along then when we came home that day we did watch videos about chinchillas and she even changed her mind because they are gonna be too much to handle she was like nope 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 maybe when she gets her own place she can get one I don't know but we did find out with the birds that the blue one which name is blue is a female and the green one is male so yeah at least we know that is they can they don't feel like they have any control yeah this has come up several times and I said okay I'll ask Peng whenever we talk 
talk, and I figured this is the perfect opportunity to ask because <laughs> everybody's on here. It is the perfect opportunity to ask, but again, as long as the organization is requiring it of everybody, then we have to go with the flow. Okay, y'all. That's like the, not the manager, but the boss over our department. And I knew this was coming. I knew it. But she's talking about us all going back to the office because things are opening up, getting better as far as COVID numbers, from what I hear. And they are building a space, and I think I told you guys this before, they are building a space where we can all be there and be separated, you know, safely. So, I mean, I knew it was coming. I knew when they sent us home and told us we could start working from home that eventually this would come, but I'm so spoiled, you guys. So we're getting a new dental system, and we are going to be training for that, but first our manager is going to be trained on it. So because there's going to be more people in the office, I'm looking at my calendar, next week and the week after, for the next two weeks, every day, I will be working from home. Yeah, and I'm loving it because I roll out of bed, wash my face, brush my teeth, and I look like this for work. I wish this was permanent. I wish this was permanent. I know I'm just rambling and complaining, but I can't complain because I have a decent job and I'm happy with what I do. And it's good. I'm just spoiled because I want to stay home permanently. I mean, permanently working, so. Okay, so I ordered lunch from Super Taco and it got here early my lunch isn't until like 20 minutes i usually try to time it if i order out if i usually try to time it to where it could be here when my lunch is ready but anyway it's okay so i just got a taco bowl because i am trying to do low carb you guys so anyway so just steak sour cream cheese guacamole lettuce and all that so and then i did get a diet coke i am trying not to drink so much sodas which i'm doing a good job of but today i just needed some kind of flavor chips came with it but i won't be eating the chips and then salsa so i'm about to put my contacts in savannah and i have a eye doctor appointment later when i get off of work i feel like it's been forever with these contacts but The day that I went in, I didn't like that pair because since I'm getting older, my vision is getting, is changing. When I was younger, I used to be able to get my contacts and they match it to my prescription and it's just fine. But now that I'm older, I need reading glasses or readers because my eyesight is changing. My contacts are for distance as well. And she did give me um, the right side where I'm able to see closer but I don't like that contrast being able to see closer here and distance on this one I don't like it so I'm just gonna stick with these because the first pair that she gave me I don't know if I told you guys or not it made me feel like I was seeing like hazy in the fog so then she gave me an option to because my left eye is the weaker eye she gave me an option to only wear contact in this eye and then not for this one. And I didn't like that idea. And I've even tried to go around with just contact, a contact in my left eye. My eyes always water after I put my contacts in. Anyway, she gave me the option to wear just one contact in my left eye. And I didn't like that. So I'm going to have to settle for a pair of contacts that, not a pair, but the prescription that is for distance. And then I just won't be able to read anything up close. I'll just have to wear them when I'm driving or, you know, don't have to read anything. So that's what we're going to do today. And Savannah actually could have got hers 
when I went in the first time, but she was at Marine World with Cheyenne. And then the next week, I don't know what happened. They had to reschedule. And then the week after that, I had to reschedule. So yeah, it's just been a while, but we for sure go today. And then I'll get my prescription or if they have them in stock, I'll just pick them up today. I'm sweaty. Y'all not used to seeing me over here. Yeah, she's so driving. What's so bright? The screen. The screen? Oh. Hey. Okay. She's doing one of her driving lessons today. <laughs> and we're not in our neighborhood, so that's the reason why I have you guys right there. But we did go to our contact um, appointment and contacts appointment and ordered contacts. So, yeah, those will be coming in the mail. Oh, Just slow down, slow down. Oh my gosh. I know, but you're getting so close to all them cars, and they're brand new, so... Well, I need a new car anyway. No, if we hit them... Yeah, you just pay for it, and, and that'd be mine, right? So I'll pay for all 12 of them brand new cars. One car. No, it don't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Can we just keep it? What was I saying? I don't know. So, we're not doing much, much today. After... She drives around for a little bit. We're going home because I'm tired. Hello. Yes, I look like this. It's about to be bedtime pretty soon. Y'all, I'm old. It's still light outside. It's 8 o'clock and I'm tired. I'm in the bed. Probably going to fall asleep soon. I didn't do very much. Uh, just took out my contacts. Anyway, I didn't do very much today. So there was nothing vlog worthy after Savannah drove around a little bit. Well, she's getting a whole lot better. There are a few things that she needs to work on, but you know, she's just, you know, learning how to drive, whatever. What am I saying? I'm tired. Y'all know what? I get tired. I don't even know why I pull out the camera because I start talking nonsense. Is that a thing? Talking nonsense? Speaking nonsense? See, I can't even talk right. I can't even speak right. Whatever. We came home and watched a movie in the living room. I don't even remember what it was called, but yeah. But now I'm, I'm probably about to fall asleep to the yard. I think I told you guys this. I found this, I thought it was a movie, like a two-part movie, but it's a series. And it's one of those prison shows like Wentworth and Orange is the New Black. And even though to me, Nothing can't beat Orange is the New Black, probably because it's from here. And Wentworth is from Australia, I think. This show, The Yard, it's from Turkey. So it's a Turkish show. And I do have the English audio on. But I'm watching it and I'm like, I'm getting the sense of deja vu. Like I've seen it before and I know I haven't. But then I started Googling things about the show. A lot of the things that happen in here happen in Wentworth so I guess Turkey the storyline from Australia but made it into theirs or whatever the show is actually pretty good if you guys like prison shows I just knew black is still better but I like this one too so that's why I'll probably fall asleep too like I said it's only eight o'clock I'm so tired